I very much doubt that women were happier before the feminist movement came about. Women were not allowed to vote. Women were not allowed to inherit property. If you managed to get a divorce, then your children would automatically go to your husband. I mean, all those great um, disadvantages were, were there enshrined in law. Feminists have encouraged women to act as they pleased. Now what women are left bewildered and depressed. It's an empty road that they're, they're following. Feminism has huge implications for my life. It means that by law I'm supposed to be paid as much as a male counterpart. I won't get sacked when um, I get married. I can have an abortion. You know, the simplest of things. I have a right to vote. Equal pay legislation suddenly came in for teachers and civil servants. And it hit me, I thought, good God, I hadn't realised I was getting less money than a man. I was that thick of that lack of consciousness about being a woman. But I could go on for ages, it'll bore you to death. Women were not given the vote. Women fought jolly hard to get the vote. Because if you're not able to vote in the society in which you live, you're not really a person. You don't really have any kind of power at all. It was fantastic. It made the, it made the whole difference to the way one conducted one's life. My mother was miserable because she had a really good brain. She never quite managed to use it to its fullest extent. And the damage that caused in our relationship was really profound because she was jealous of me. Basically, the most important thing for me was um, my being able to get a mortgage as a single woman. I couldn't get a mortgage till I was 34. Feminism is about the most fundamental human rights and it's delivered so many of them for women. I think there needs still to be a sense amongst women that there are still a lot of inequalities that they need collectively to work towards and that they need to bring their young men with them towards. We have come a long way. At the same time, it's not just a steady sort of progress upwards. New issues come to light as society develops. It's about how men and women relate to each other. It's about the history of how things have changed. Over the last decade, the, the sex industry has been normalised through um, the expanse of lap dancing clubs, of lad mags, um, pornography. Women are now faced with the expectation on them and just bombarded with images of women as being sexual objects and that's all they are um, and I think that's one of the most important issues facing women today. We've come a very very long way it's, and it's good but you have to keep watching it. We can go backwards. <laughs>